Ugh, the dreaded <laughs> tax season. The only thing I got out of that one is uh, April. You know, spring flowers, warmer weather, okay. storm season. Other than that, you're like, let me yeah, block I this I blocked out. everything else. Well, as soon as you said taxes, the IRS. Angst, yeah. angst, right? <laughs> All right. Well, Justin, you know, we have really been very fortunate. I know we've had some wind here, but really, as far as the temperatures are concerned, not a whole lot to no, complain about. I, another decent weekend. We haven't had hardly any winter weather, no Arctic blasts that have lasted very long. And look at the first 14 days of January, all above average. We should be in the upper 40s, and you see no 40s, several 50s, several 60s, and two 70 degree days so far in the month and tomorrow will be another day into the 60s as we'll continue the string of warm weather 58 officially here you can see upper 50s low 60s 70s out in the panhandle but like sylvia mentioned it was a windy one and we had wind gusts from oklahoma city west uh, up to 40 miles an hour and we're still sustained 15 to 20 with occasional wind gusts up to 25. that'll be the the norm here this evening and for the rest of the overnight 46 degrees and some high level clouds and with the south winds temperatures will be much warmer than they were over the last couple of mornings i think we'll uh, maybe fall down into the upper 30s briefly but low 40s for the most part as you can see a little bit cooler a little bit less wind so that cold air is allowed to settle uh, down towards the surface with some 30s but low 50s out towards clinton and uh, out towards the west as you can see see pockets into the middle to upper 30s for uh, wind gusts currently currently a 31 mile per hour wind gusts here in the oklahoma city area so upper 30s to low 40s some high level clouds warm uh, for this time of the year our average low temperature around 27 degrees tomorrow mixture of sun and clouds okay it'll just depend on the time there'll be patches of clouds and overall the clouds will thicken up as we head throughout the daytime hours especially late afternoon but mild those south winds will pump up the moisture and the warmer air will go 62 65 on clinton 66 and lawton 66 ada 63 in stillwater Wind gusts, much like today, from Oklahoma City West, 20 to 30, occasional wind gusts to 40, less wind off towards the east, and a slight chance of a little elevated wildfire threat up towards the northwest out in the panhandle. But for the most part, there'll be enough moisture here to uh, lower that. But we're in the drought situation, and we have a lot of wind, so there's at least the chance of a fire breaking out and spreading. Big area of low pressure. Look at this mountain, a um, large uh, area of low pressure crashing in the west coast and that's some of the storm systems that'll crash and little pieces of energy will head our way N another one will arrive here to tomorrow night into uh, monday morning with a slight chance of some drizzle and sprinkles storm number two comes in a little bit more moisture but the latest data is quicker and weaker as it heads in across the area and then storm number three moves in here across the desert southwest but the models are uh, changing on the ex exact location of where this goes east or southeast if it digs southeast we'll be on the cold side of the storm a little bit of moisture that's where our chance of winter weather would arrive over the weekend next weekend sprinkles maybe a shower here tomorrow evening into the overnight not a big deal quick weather system decreasing clouds middle 60s on monday and the warm weather will continue over the next couple of days. That slight chance of showers comes in Tuesday night into Wednesday and then 50s for Thursday and Friday. So a little bit cooler, more seasonable. And then we'll have to wait and see how much colder air and a little bit of moisture arrives as we head towards next weekend. Sports is up next.